Good morning. My name is Boris Krasi. I'm from PTT, Finland. And uh, today we will be uh, presenting you the result of our joint work with Dalitha Linear Space called the Astrovar. So Astrovar stands for Astronaut Contextual Information Support with Projected Augmented Reality. <coughs> what's, the, what's the concept? This how the instructions in space looked 40 years ago and uh, they still look pretty much the same today. This is the artistic vision of how the instructions could look in future. Uh, this uh, system could be used on the ground to support assembly in the clean room or for training. It can be used on the International Space Station for uh, EVA and, and EVA support and for the exploratory missions where new methodologies for maintenance are required. <laughs> Uh, for the demonstration that we have brought to uh, Dalisa Linear Space and to uh, Altec, uh, the concept is, is the following. You have the ground control system, which is what is over here, and uh, you have uh, some activity uh, at the International Space Station, which is uh, monitored and supported from the, from the ground control uh, center. So you simulate the ground control center with this auditorium, and the remote site by the room behind the wall. And uh, we have two demonstrations. The first one is very robust, very simple, no tracking at all. Uh, just a small device and that's it. It's called remote pointer. This is, uh, this, is, uh, this is the photograph for the lamp replacement where the instructions are just projected on top of the, of, of the work area. Don't touch these bolts and uh, unscrew, unscrew these bolts. Pay attention to this part. Um, and the second demo uh, is more advanced. It's, it's called Instruction Overlay. From the ground control center, you can uh, 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 allocate certain, certain instructions, rotate the, the, the work parts, pay attention to this switch that has uh, three, three, three positions, and, uh, and, uh, and, and so on. And they are projected to the, to the International Space Station side, uh, directly on the workplace, so the astronaut can just follow the instructions. Uh, now, uh, Nikola, the floor is yours. Okay. So, sorry, can you hear me? Uh, sorry, please uh, take a seat. We are going to proceed. I'm at the position. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to show to Sally where to uh, place this device. Okay, I will put the box on the square. Under the box. Now I will ask somebody to rotate the box. Okay. 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 Yes, I see the switch. So, here you can see there are four switches. Uh, visually speaking, they are exactly all the same, but uh, one of them has three positions and the other have, have two positions. Uh, so, I can see one here. I can add some number on top of it. So it's in three positions, there are only two positions. And um, now, maybe you can show to the audience that if you move the box, the same box will follow. Just with a small line because of the camera system. Conditions. Uh, uh, we are going to rotate the box again, and uh, so we will uh, unplug uh, the cables uh, on the other side. This black ball on the other side. Okay, rotating until I find the symbol. Okay, I have found the symbol. May I proceed the removal of the cable? Cable removed. Okay. Now 
Okay, I'm rotating the uh, box. Okay, and what should I do? Okay, removing the table. Yes. Okay, table removed. So, now the task is almost done. You can, uh, so now we will just unplug this uh, electronic components and then uh, we will put the switch to the top position and it will be done. Okay, so please, sorry, uh, unplug this, uh, this uh, electronic component on top of the box. Please remove it. This button, you can push this button. Okay, that's completely. 